Hey my darlings, today I am excited, like man, I am so excited to share this recipe with you. We're gonna make my seafood stuffed bell peppers and they are overstuffed. Man, these things so good. Listen, if you love your family, watch this so you can make it for them. Let's cook for I'm using yellow, red, and green peppers only because it looks so colorful and pretty, but you can use whatever you want. I've cleaned them and cut them in half. I'm going to show you with my yellow one how I did that. So first I was just finding a, the perfect place to cut them in half. Found it. Slice it open. Now we're going to clean all of those seeds out, take that stem. I'm gonna just cut that, I guess you call that a membrane. Help me out, y'all. I guess membrane. Cut all that out. And then we're just gonna dump all of those seeds out of there. Clean that out well. See, just like that, all clean. Let's head over to the stove. Please don't skip this step. We're gonna pour, boil our peppers. Um, I have a pot of water coming to a boil. I'm gonna add in some chicken bouillon cubes just to give it some flavor and of course I have to add in my holy grail my liquid crab boil whenever I see some water boiling y'all I want to add this stuff in here it's just the Louisiana in me but this is going to add a little bit of flavor to our peppers and give them some kick now that we're boiling we're going to add in those peppers we want the peppers to be tender and that broth and crab ball is going to impart a nice flavor to them as well so add them in okay i'm going to cover them up and just let them boil for only five minutes no more than five minutes okay now that the five minutes are up we're going to scoop them out drain them and put them to the side be careful because they are hot Okay, I'm taking a little bit of that broth and seasoning mix and I'm adding it to a little bit of chicken base. Just, um, we're going to use that in our stuffing. So don't throw that away. It's useful. Now time to brown our ground meat. I'm using ground beef. You can use turkey, whatever you want. So we're going to season it up. Y'all know I use my regular seasoning. You know the recipe is in the description don't get mad but um now that it's browned i'm gonna drain it and add it to a bowl to that same pan i added onion bell pepper red and green and one celery stalk i added that i chopped it up finely in my ninja put a little bit of olive oil into the pan and now i'm just sauteing that around i'm also going to add in my shrimp sorry i lost the clip of me seasoning the shrimp but i just lightly seasoned them with a little onion and garlic powder and you'll see them go in right there y'all i have no clue where that clip is of me cooking my shrimp i'm so mad but anyway it's done now so i'm adding the shrimp and the, the veggies that onions and peppers to my meat now we're just going to mix it up well make sure everything is even okay now let's add in our breadcrumbs and y'all i'm so smart i had the fan on that's why i was blowing like crazy poor me but add in the breadcrumbs and break out that chicken broth and we're gonna pour that in you know the routine get to mixing see the breadcrumbs and chicken broth helps combine everything it makes it like a stuffing instead of just having some loose meat and stuff in the pepper you know what I'm talking about so, yeah okay. all right here's the important part here is where you taste it with a separate spoon you know how I roll and <laughs> taste it make sure the seasoning is right and here's where you can adjust it if you need to almost done two more ingredients now I'm gonna sprinkle in some shredded Parmesan cheese I don't like to top the pepper with it alone I like to mix it in you know in the stuffing so it melts within the pepper yeah boo it's good mix it and now the lump crab meat this is like three thousand forty eight dollars at the store the stuff ain't cheap but it's worth it okay and we're gonna be super careful with it we're not gonna mix it all crazy mm -mm. we're gonna gently 
add this to the party so really really gently really really gently <laughs> add it in and don't just stir it in we're gonna fold it into the mixture y'all hear that fold say it with me fold it in okay we want to keep that crab as intact as possible okay so we're gonna be real nice and gentle with the crab okay all right all right, I have placed the peppers in a 9 by 13 pan covered with foil because you know <laughs> your girl ain't about to be scrubbing that pan, all right? And if you notice, our cute little peppers are, you know, kind of color coordinated. See, y'all knew your girl can cook, but did you know she could coordinate, all right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, preheat your oven to 350. Get it all ready. Let's get to stuffing. Now we're going to start with the yellow again. Get a big spoonful. Come on, Coop. What you doing? There we go. And we are going to stuff it. Don't be stingy. Stuff this thing, y'all. Don't be afraid to take your spoon and pack it down in there. Put as much as you can. I'm going to even add more. Place it back in there and do the rest. Yo, look at my peppers. Look at my peppers. Don't be stingy with people. Serve your family. Serve your loved ones. Pack those peppers, boo. Would you look at that? Look at the crab meat, shrimp, that ground beef. All of that is just completely throughout that pepper. The cheese is not just resting on top. It's all through that filling. Y'all, come on now. Come on. I got y'all. I got you. I know y'all want to see some cheese on top. I know. I know. Your girl got you. Add a little cheese on top. And I had to be extra... Add a little bit more crab on there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't. Now let's add them to that oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. On three. And here's what you're left with. Yes, peppers come through. <laughs> Y'all look at that crab and that shrimp. Man, these things are good. The recipe link is in that description box and any questions you have, you know, just leave it in the comment section. I will answer. I hope you make these because I know you will love it. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys next time. Let's dig into these. Check this out look at that so tender check out that cheese okay i gotta eat bye guys be blessed